We're here. We're here. Andrew, yeah. uh, how, how's your office chair? Is it comfortable? How's my office chair? Is it comfortable? Oh, fuck you, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> it has been anointed by dog. <laughs> by dog himself. Uh, <laughs> it's great. It's never what? been cleaner, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Good lord. I was Hello out of the room. Hello, and ev- everybody. <laughs> Andrew's dogs definitely didn't shit all over <laughs> his office floor today. Normal nice. This is yeah, episode no, 30 of Arc 5 of Better Than Heroes. If you're new to our stream, welcome. We always talk <laughs> about dog shit inside of 30 seconds. I'm Rachel Weeks, and I play Click, the level 14 Crane Fighter. I'm Andrew Overdahl, and I play Flute, a.k.a. the Wind... Writer, a human something. A bar. <laughs> a human who gives a shit. A human yeah. chair cleaner. A, a guy. Fuck <laughs> it. Human dog butler. Um, I'm Jordan Dahl and I play the moon boy and my screen has never been bigger. I'm going to be doing this all night. <laughs> uh, my name is Aaron Uris and I play Kai Hammerstein, the artificer. My screen is tiny, so I'll be going like this. <laughs> doing this. I'm using my phone. <laughs> nice. It looks great. And I'm Harley Kelly. I'm the dungeon master of this game, and I play every dog, every office chair that you come across. Both of them. All the things that are plaguing Andrew, I play. Um, every little bit of diarrhea. <laughs> That's me. I love that song. <laughs> Oh, what a, uh, how I long for a little bit of diarrhea. You got a hype train going. If you ever thought about throwing us those Bezos bucks, that free Prime subscription, if you ever thought about giving us a follow, do it now. Can you guys still hear me? My camera turned off, and I don't know why. I'm in the void. Because you mentioned Bezos, because yep. you took oh. his name in vain. Turned, while while Jordan fixes that, uh, I'm going to put up the brain art here from... Will Podorf that was revealed, the brain golem from last session. Uh, I got a Go fun uh, message from Will that said he's not allowed to make art for Better Than Heroes anymore um, because his mom called him and told him that this brain <laughs> art that you see right here was too gross. Um, oh, uh, yes. So. Fuck yeah. We got him in trouble with his mom. That's <laughs> like, yeah. for a horror illustrator, that has to be on the same par as, like, when someone snorts during a comedy show. Like, uh, yeah, you make a mom upset, you're like, I get it. I did no, it. no more of that. No yeah. more of those better than heroes <laughs> hooligans. Too yeah. gross. They are worse Icky. than villains. That's no. hilarious. Will, William, this. yuck. Well, that's gotta yeah. be. That's gotta be our. Uh, our mom, our, I don't think. Why are you being mom such a brain golem about this? Follows him on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Will's mom knows what Will does. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's a huge Better Than Heroes fan. She just now found out the Will <laughs> even draws. <laughs> uh, Will says he's grounded. Uh, Will's been hanging out with us. Oh, hi, show. Will. That's all right. They can't ground you from Twitch. Well, they probably could, but yeah, then you'd look on your phone. It's impossible being a parent these days. <laughs> In just a few minutes, we are going to play some 5E e Spell Jammer Dungeons and Dragons. Our show is live soundtracked by the wonderful Jason Wardell. You can hear him noodling. He'll be noodling all night. Hell yeah. And, you know, hopefully in a less flary way and a more celebratory way. Yeah, we got some Jason emotes in chat. This show is brought to you by our patrons and our subscribers. You guys help us. They are artists. Our Every Map of Story, who does our maps. Jason, who does our music. Will Potter, who does horrifying things for us. Uh, <laughs> you guys make this show uh, better than Heroes. You guys make it better and better every week. If I said weech, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Uh, just uh, better yeah. every Rachel. It's fine. I mean, every yeah. Rachel weeks. What? Where am I? <laughs> if you want to see the show I grow, just metal. <laughs> 
If you want to see the show grow, please consider supporting us financially. You can do that by subscribing or by gifting subs or by uh, buying some cool stuff off of our Teespring account by joining our Patreon. All of those are super sweet ways to do that. We, I mean, y'all just shattered our hype train record. record. Yeah. Whoa. Shattered Longest hype it. train ever. Who knew? As far as, as far as we know. Hype train is uh, off the rails. It plowed into a small town. Oh no, it was transporting explosives. <laughs> stop <laughs> hyping. Everyone stop hyping. The it's hype is getting into far. the water supply. Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> You can Jumps also support the, the show hype. and not spend a dime if you just want to tell some cool people about us. Tell them that we're here on Monday every 7 p.m. Pacific. Tell them that we've got a podcast and a YouTube channel. They can True. watch Better Than Heroes. All five arcs are available online in various places. That's a great way to support the show. Also, just by following us on all the things, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Twitch, and YouTube. Those are all very, very helpful okay we appreciate everything that you guys do uh to making this show awesome including just showing up on your monday nights it means a lot that you want to hang out and play with us we are going to play some DD in just a few minutes but first it's time for last week's recap Previously on Better Than Heroes, running through the Cycropolis to attack the Elder Brain, things were moving quickly now. Having identified the path forward, the crew and their allies traversed great swaths of flame set by Oxtrillion. The Elder Brain reached out to Click, still trying to negotiate and intimidate, but she ignored it, and the crew continued their dash down a bottomless jump puzzle of a corridor. Through the psychic sphincter at the end, they found the Elder the brain's brine pool. Rising from it were two muscly brain golems who were gross as hell and ready to <laughs> rumble. Are these the brains of the operation? Or are these just goons that were doing sex down there? What else <laughs> lurks within the elder brine? Find out right now on Better Than Heroes. God. Elder brine. Elder brine. <laughs> oh, oh, Definitely. <laughs> Wait. I didn't get to finish. This always happens. Guys, Will's mom's watching. Good. I will smile. No one else is watching, too. God, it's so upsetting that they have like little partial faces looking out. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That's a classic. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a well, classic HBGB. The uh, the faces that have been partially absorbed into the mm. unit. It reminds me of. The, In fact, the I'm gonna stuff. go over this for just a second because holy shit, I also it took me a second to realize this, and I just want to zoom in on this. So sorry for the people listening to the podcast right now, but go look at this. Yeah, zoom in on it. On uh, Will Podorf's Instagram so or our good. Instagram here. But these faces right here, this is what we're talking about. These faces right here that are uh, have been absorbed or are emerging in some way. Look at look at the, the, the mouth of the golem bleeds into the mouth of the yeah. It's the so visage. off, but well, it's, it's so well gross. He's this got a little rain on his tummy. Totally. He's got a little <laughs> tummy uh, brain. So do I. Brain. He wants ramen noodles all the time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this reminds me of like the cover crotch. of like a VHS from like the late eighties. Like oh, a horror what, what movie. A compliment. What a compliment. He would have walked by and been kind hunk. of like perpetually spooked up. Yeah. Yeah. I've never yeah. watched Parents it that. Like, no, not that one. Not that mm-hmm. one. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. We're not watching Brain Hunk. That's awful. Here, let's watch <laughs> The Stuff. <laughs> this won't give you nightmares for decades to come. Uh, I can't believe you just referenced The Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I watched that. Chocolate Chip Charlie fucking... 
Wow, I thought that was just a, a horrible riff. Puppet. You have like an act. No, it's, an fro- it's like frozen yogurt that like is, uh, takes over movie. people's. <laughs> and it's uh, so minds. bad. It's like an what? F of a movie, but like an A plus of a gore monster fest. Hell yeah, sounds fun. The All monster right, is A plus gore fest. Yeah, it's it doesn't take itself Sorry, very seriously. Everyone. Everybody yeah, for fine. Halloween, I suggest you watch the stuff. Don't expect huh. something good. <laughs> yeah, just expect stuff. <laughs> Um, speaking of something good, Rachel, it is your turn. It is Click's turn here. We're at the top of the initiative speaking order. Speaking of the stuff. <laughs> okay. She's got um, the stuff. stuff. Right. So my first question is, is, this door is now open. What can we see of, like, habitable space down there? Like, is there a ground? Is there, can we see anything? Oh, you can absolutely mm-hmm. roll a perception check, and I'll give it to you for free because you've already had a little bit of a moment inside of this room. Uh, seventeen, I believe. Nope, nineteen. Nice. Oh, sure. nice. Um, you can see two layers of what looks like solid ground. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with looks like because of that number here. But you can definitely see this more hardened layer that is right in front of you. Um, that seems to have these uh, kind of like stinky bit. Yeah, e- exactly. And, and the gums, it, it, if you will. <laughs> gums is a great. That's a great description. Mm. Um, it, there's it's definitely it's like some uh, white growth that looks moss-like, but is more mold-ish than moss. Uh, maybe like powdery, which are these like stone-like things on the map here mm-hmm. as well. Uh, and you can see <laughs> down from it is let's you know let's call it the the beach. Um, around <laughs> the not. gum beach, gum yeah. beach. You know, how every oh, mouth has a beach, beach on it. Um, mm-hmm. it's like if all the it's teeth, awful in here, you guys. <laughs> if all the teeth were decayed sand, um, decayed into sand, it would be that area around it. And there is definitely some undulating purple growth inside of the purple ground. So, um. <laughs> Yeah, that's those. That's and that uh, layer is about ten feet down from the gummy layer that is right next to you as you step, if you want to step into this cool. room. Uh, uh, and then there is the large brine pool in the middle as well. You have jump cast on you right now, just FYI. Yeah, so I've got like super crazy jump speed. The problem mm-hmm. is I don't really know what will kill me. Dive, dive, dive. Um. So she will go to the end of this hallway and I don't know, can I, I guess I've already kind of done a free thing. Can I, I, yeah, all right. Let's just stand, let's stand here and see what happens. Cool, all so right. that's 20 some feet of movement. It's your, uh, your clawed feet um, so. step down on this ground. There's a clack uh, as it's like God. it's like overgrown dog toenails hitting uh, tile floor as this is very oh, hard are my surface toenails. right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Overgrown well, dog toenail? Sorry, yeah, I hadn't trimmed my, Gary's toenails feet. in a while, so that sound is, is based in my brain. <laughs> oh my um, no, it's good. I will just yeah. have the click goes to the get, her, get a pedicure in the next episode. Yeah. Uh, after, after all this, um, <laughs> she hears uh, that. And is I will chuck self-aware. <laughs> a We've all heard it. A chihuahua chuck. walking on hardwood floors. I guess yeah. I will use my bonus action and ca- do a hunter's mark on Ooh. this fellow. Um, all right, He's cool. now so- been marked. Two deline- since there are two different brains here on the board uh, mm-hmm. to delineate them, I have named them. Uh, so this is <laughs> shoulders, uh, and you can tell because his it, this one's shoulders are uh, a bit bulkier than the others. So this one is shoulders. Um, and then the one to the south is going to be knees because you can see two little mouths in each, each of its knees. Fuck, we know that Toes is out there somewhere. And heads. <laughs> uh. Well, Heads has got to be the Elder Brain. Right? Yeah, Heads has uh, got to okay, be. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, Toes is... Anyway, uh, I'm going to chuck a chakcha at shoulders. Cool. Uh, and... Chakcha. It looks like it will hit, depending Chuk-chuk. on how crazy theirs is. So... 
Ah, it's all right. It's a 24 to hit. A 24 does hit. Uh, as, as you throw this weapon at it, you can kind of tell... A lot of creatures you fight often have, like, natural armor to them, some sort of, like, carapace, like you do as well. Um, uh, This thing does not. It is squishy, gooey brain, and your chachka just goes right into it. Um, And you can roll your damage here. She loves that sound. Uh, All (laughs) together, it is 18 slashing. All right, cool. Um, Yeah, As, as, as it goes in, just this, like, clear liquid just starts bursting spewing out of it into Ugh. the brine pool and it goes oh, shoulders uh, mm. uh, I will hit it again this one is 25 to hit and it does, it does uh, 14 slashing Ooh. It's 29 all together right or was the other one 18 is it 15 or 18 it was 18 okay, plus good. 14, so Okay, 32. so 32 points of damage altogether. One nice. more attack. This one will hit as well. Ooh, Cute. good dice damage. This is another 18. Ooh. Sashing. All right. Sash away. Big day for hunters, Mark. My Absolutely goodness. huge. As yeah, give us some uh, as you <coughs> kind of like lock onto this thing and there's thoop, thoop, thoop into it. There's just now three holes in it that it's just like leaking this clear liquid from and it's wailing now. Yeah, this has been a messy fly- fight for Click. It's been a lot of running around. It's been a lot of mind games. She, I think she is relieved to see something giant she can hit with a <laughs> stick uh, and. Is a little wary of the ground out here, but uh, we'll make quick work of shoulders, shoulders with her cha cha cha. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Great. Okay. That is going to be the end of your turn. Um, I'm, I've got some oh, movement oh, sorry, that I want to use. I think I, I, th- I think I'm going to try and at least make their shots a little bit more complicated. Sure. Uh, I've got. Another twenty feet. Use that, that movement to your advantage, please, and absolutely. I know. I'm also kind of just getting further from the crew. What if I go this way? Uh, yeah, she'll scurry on next to this big old pustule. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. I'm tight. Back. Gross. I'll just uh, post up on this zit and pass them my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are you touching the the white pussy pile right there? Absolutely not. I didn't think bare so. Bare hands. No bare hands. Got it. Got it. Got not got with it. a ten foot pole, which she carries. <laughs> which you have. Why yeah. do you want to know? Uh, great. Okay. Cool. Um, good strategic movement. That's going to be the end of Click's turn. Then yes. Cool. Um, that is going to. Uh, I would like schmacked. Or, you know what, let's have Laloon do a perception check here. Since okay. she's with this crew in the, back, in the back of everybody. Laloon. Laloon. Fifteen. Um, Laloon. There are mind flayers moving through the fire uh, that is behind you. Uh-uh. Bummer. That, that Laloon yeah. can sense. She can kind of see the silhouette of uh, at least three mind flares floating through the fire right now. Um, God damn it. That is going to bring up Moonboy. It's now your turn. (sighs) Okay. Okay, Moonboy is going to freaking... uh, Oh, jeez, where is he? Oh, he's all the way back here. Give me a break, Moon Boy. What are you doing? 25, 15. So he can move, what, 35 feet with his... Ah, jeez. Yeah, it's a little tough right now. That's a shame, isn't it? This is a concentration spell. It's been dash a until it is now the battle uh, episode for some. Crossing the so, pathway here. 
Battle uh, episode. Okay. Battle yeah, Toad? Yeah. Battle Toad? Uh, Moonboy is going to dash and catch up with all of these freaks. Um, Hi. Hello, freaks. Hello, um, freaks. That's hurtful. This one is shoulders. <coughs> uh, yeah, shoulders is the closer one. Uh, I'll give shoulders a tent here so you all can know shoulders. He will know shoulders by the tent of his token. Oh, a tent. Tent. I said tent for sure. It's totally mm-hmm. dead. I was picturing yeah, a little yeah, tent. Like camping. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And it's I got a little like, umbrella. Uh, he's too far for me to do anything. So, um, flute, how's your HP looking? I could use a top off. I'll be honest. Okay, uh, I am going to cast a third level healing word on. Flute, and um, you will regain 14 hit points. And because I am in the form of the chalice, um, I wonder if I can just heal you again. Let me read the specifics on it. Chalice, when you cast a spell that restores hit points, you or a creature within 30 feet. So yeah, I can just give it to you. Uh, so you'll get an additional 12 hit points. So total, you're getting back 26 hit points from that. And that is the end of the Moon Boy's turn. Give us some flavor of of what Flute sees as this happens. I think uh, Flute just sees this kind of glowing, whirling force like coming down the hall like too fast and then it just stops right behind him but the light surrounding it keeps going Mm. and washes over him and uh some of the cuts and scrapes on him are like blown away by this wind that washes over him hell yeah jason Um, it's awesome (laughs) it's so um, good love it love it uh great stuff and i will say i for shoulders, I gave shoulders a little uh, little token there. I wanted to preserve the the color, the beautiful color of these uh, disgusting brain golems. So shoulders has a little uh, strong arm guy, and knees has a little arrow guy to differentiate which one is which. There, um, just so you know, for those of you keeping track at home, I will I'll show you on the map too if you all Twitch viewers are watching here. Um, so. Great turn, Moon Boy, catching up with everybody flying forward here. Um, it is going to bring some more uh, Mind Flayers that are off screen turn, and now it's going to bring up Talon's turn. Yeah. We can't really. Fly gives a 30 foot flying speed. Fly. She can't really get back to see. Any of these mind flares, I don't think. Oh no, 60 feet. So she's still flying. Um, I think Talon is going to return and try and cover this exit here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. If, if she gets to like, I guess I have to do that, huh? I'm going to have her fly all the way back to here. Wow, I love it. I love it. And any chance that she can see some of these mind flayers walking around? That's a good question. Um, None of them have crested the fire yet. They all Mm -hmm. got up to the fire. All the ones that made it into this room, they have gotten up to the fire and have not dashed through it yet. Um, So they will. But uh, you can just kind of see them. I will say she can see them in an obscured way. So if there's a spell that requires vision, you can see enough of the flames. But what is that? Uh, I'm sorry. Somebody cast a spell that I, I did not name the token that I put right here. But one of you all cast a spell on the token at the door. Uh, Guardian that was of going- Faith. Guardian yeah, of Faith. Yeah, I think that okay, was cool. a... Yeah. So- <coughs> it was 10 feet of that something. Do allies, is it fine with allies? Yeah, it's fine with allies. Okay, cool. 
Um, so then if you can move in and out of that, you definitely can move around this corner. You would need to be right next to Schmacked here in order to see them, but you could technically see them through the fire. Um, I... Oh, it's just the map doesn't go that far. I see. Okay, um, I think she can get to there. I think, whoops, why is it doing that? It's just moving the Kai Hammerstein around. Sorry. Uh, Ah. I I should... I should be able to move up here with Laloon and she will hiss to the uh, fish folk to be like, get out of sight. And I will fire magic missile at the third level at any of the mind flayers I can see here. Okay, cool. Do you want to focus on one mind flayer or do you want to try and hit as many as you can? I'm going to hit whoever is closest and it's at level three, so... It's how many? Yeah, so there's there's an elite mind flayer that is absolutely leading the charge here if you want to focus on that. Well, one. I guess we try and hit him a lot. Cool. Um, so it's one, two, three. It's five D4s, I think. Cool. Um, it's how many do I have? Wow. Hitting the bottom of a dice bag. You rarely do it. You rarely do it, but here we are. Dog shit rolls. Uh, two, four, six, seven, plus four, eleven, plus five, 15, 16 altogether. All right, sixteen altogether. Uh, yeah, it's like through the fire. These uh, Talon's arm just like opens up, and all of these uh, gears and screws just go like flying out of it, and. Th- 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 through the fire and you can just see the black ink squelch off of them almost like highlighting it next to the flame as it's like putting bits of the flame out um, as dark this like dark liquid just splatters on the fire alright uh, you want to do anything else your turn I don't think that's gonna help um uh, sorry I want to look at one more thing no problem um, uh, this is tense combat. I, I really love the move right now of sending folks to fight from behind to like protect your, you know, protect your six here as these mind flayers are rushing toward you. It, it splits the fight in a very fun, interesting way. I think so. Yeah, splitting the party always good, right? <laughs> no, it, it's yeah, not. the GM likes it. <laughs> like I like. We're not going to be able to get all these I'm fish not. folk over this like this thing um okay uh I don't know if this helps but she will what does this do until it's been this was a I'm gonna have Talon put her hand on Liloon's shoulder so I have to spend a sorcery point I think two of them be able to cast an action as a bonus action. Cool, yeah. Uh, and she will lay her hand on Laloon's shoulder and cast protection from evil and good. Ooh. Nice. Uh, so you've been playing Baldur's give, Gate? Seems like you've been playing Baldur's her, Gate over here. I should be, but I've been busy soon. Yeah. Uh, they're aberrations, right? Um, they are. Mind players are <laughs> aberrations. Um, so I will give Laloon protection from aberrations. Can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. They have disadvantage on attack rolls. Love um, it. Love that. it. If the target is already charmed, frightened, or possessed, the target has advantage on any new saving throw rolls again. So that doesn't work right now. But anyway, that's something. Okay. <clears throat> cool. I love it. I think she would specifically brag, too. She's like, uh, yeah, I learned this one from... Uh, Hanging out with those portal folks. Um, she's <laughs> kind of like winks at Laloon. And she's like, oh, Chuz. Oh, Chuz. Um, she like thinks of Chuz fondly. They both like take a second and think of Chuz fondly. Um, great. Anything else right. uh, you'd like to do with your turn? Nope. That's all. Cool. 
Um, that is going to bring up another Mind Flayer who's off screen. And then, oh, no, I'm wrong. I just forgot to move the initiative order forward. Uh, Talon just took her turn. That means it's Kai's turn. My turn. All right. Um, I'm going <coughs> to fly forward uh, through the air, and I'm going to stop just right here on the uh, right on right on the beach. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to blast that guy shoulders. Oh, wow, you're Blasting. coming in, coming in, flying through the door that you previously bonked on. Um, we don't talk about that. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I'll uh, lit up with foresight, and I will fire a beam at shoulders. Let's get in there. Get in. Get uh, into with those advantage shoulders. because of foresight, that's going to be a 27 to hit. 27 does hit, as it is a flu, uh, a gooey, fleshy brain, and so you can uh, does not seem to have a lot of protection as you just smash onto it. Nice. He's going to take 15 points of force damage plus one point of fire damage. Right. And I'll shoot him again. That's 16 altogether, right? Yep. And... That is going to be 28 to hit. Uh, and that's I mean, going to be... Hit, absolutely, yeah. And that one is going to be 16 total points of damage. All right, so... Demi is doing, doing some doing math Demi's. in my brain. Doing some math in my brain. Thir- Thirty-two. All right, hell yeah. Um, so brain. Sorry, I had to do. I had to do some <laughs> some, some quiet, silent math. Uh, it always helps when you yell brain at someone doing math. It, do, it, yes, it truly I does like help. Um, so yeah, uh, give us some flavor here on on Kai flying in here, going into battle mode and smashing yeah, on the screen. I, I'm flying past my companions, trying to get into sort of a forward central position, firing my arcane obliterator into this. Uh, brain golem as I go and I will I'll shout Bra- brain elder brain um, and I think you notice in this moment too that there is specifically no elder brain in sight that you can see there is this mm-hmm. creature coming out of the water here that is uh, letting out all these groans from taking the hits from click and then it kind of sees Ooh. you which you can t- only tell because it's head moves toward you and focuses on you and all these faces that you can see kind of like coming out of its brain like body kind of look toward you but there are no eyes uh, anywhere to be found it just seems to be focusing on you and, and moving awkwardly toward you as it pulls itself out of the viscous brine um, that you are next to nice and I will raise up my shield and it the uh, it flashes to light Extending this shield made of energy. And I'll ready myself to get killed. <laughs> Perfect. I'm glad you're ready. Uh, what would you like to do with your turn? I mean, is, is there anything else with your you would like to That's do with it. your turn? Sorry. That's... I don't think I have a bonus action. I will activate my defensive field and gain a couple of temporary hit points. And that's it. Cool. All right. Uh, That is going to bring up some off-screen mind flayers. Um, And then it's going to be Nyx's turn, who's in the middle of the hallway here. Uh, This pathway that you all discovered to get from the connection point between the, uh, a guard room and the ooze chamber to find a quick pathway, this kind of like secret hidden pathway toward the elder brain chamber. Um, and Nyx has fly on her right now, if I if I remember correctly. Right. So you can fly 60 feet, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, Nyx is going to fly 60 feet. Um, 
down the tunnel, so... And I'm interested, her sister did just kind of like go back up, uh, you know, the, the, the six here, but she's she feels like Talon's got it covered and she's going to fly toward the Elder Brain Chamber. Or maybe she just doesn't even notice. Maybe she doesn't even know. Um, yeah, Not challenging think. what you're doing on your turn. I'm just, I'm just fishing for flavor. Um, <laughs> fishing for flavor. Yeah, Nyx has got her own I- idea of how she she might be able to help um, down the road, but she's gonna fly uh, right to here so she can see into this room, and she's going to uh, pray. Uh, again to her god Redain and cast uh, summon celestial again Ooh. as there's a flash in this big room where the elder uh, brain supposedly lives and another one of these uh, celestial beings uh, kind of floats into view with its silvery wings uh, widespread and it's kind of going to be right in the middle of this pool. Um, yeah, perfect. Um, it's a large creature, and this one is... Um, this one has a... Sorry. Instead of that big mace, this one has, like, a shining bow that almost looks like it's made out of light. Um, Sick. It's almost as tall as it is, and uh, as soon as it's conjured, it's going to uh, take aim uh, with a, a flashing arrow made of radiant, uh, flickering light, and it's going to shoot one of these guys. Um, I've already forgotten who is who. Shoulders the one to the north, knees is the one to the south. The shoulders so, are above the knees. Uh, it's going yeah. to shoot shoulders who's right in front of Kai with this flash of radiant light. So, hell yeah. Um, oh my gosh. No Get way. Get the fuck out. You didn't. I got a nat, a nat 20, 20 baby. Yeah. He's doing it again. Yeah. He didn't do it. Oh my god. What if I did? What if I did? <laughs> Uh, Jordan is referencing we went and played at a college and I suddenly became <laughs> Oh yeah, Rachel, you don't even know about this. He rolled like f- like I five could only nat roll 20s or something. Crazy. Crazy. I rolled three crazy. in a row. I rolled it three in a row. And, and then I rolled a fourth one, one and did but I had disadvantage one. on the roll. Yeah, like uh, we we were we were like having to stop the show and explain it to the audience why we were like freaking out we're like, Andrew we're specifically like was rolling so yeah. well yeah. Yeah, you rolled more crazy. 20s than you have in the entire run Ever. of this show yeah. <laughs> yes like far and away I think I've rolled like two net 20s alright um, so the damage coming down from this crit yeah. of radiant light uh Uh, it'll be 31 points of radiant damage. Whoa! As it kind of like Incredible. skewers this thing with this arrow that looks like it's like 12 feet long uh, sticking diagonally out of it. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, and, and that's some dammies. That's some dammies. And I, I will say to, to the people who can see in this room, Click and Kai, this radiant figure kind of looks like Talon. But like, is Talon like holding this long bow as well? Um, I'm gonna keep jumping in on your flavor there, Andrew. It's also um, flying. It's flying it basically as high as it can. I don't. I'm not sure how the dimensions s- of the ceiling of this room. It's a hundred feet high. The room is a hundred feet high. Okay, and so, it's uh, flying. It's a big one at the ceiling. Yeah. Cool. And I'll pass the turn. Great. All right. Cool. A hell of a turn for Nyx. Love to see it. As she, I love this split too. That she's like. Uh, as much as she's protecting her sister and her sister wants to protect her, they also do not see eye to eye on everything. So she's like dashing forward here, being in combat where she knows she needs to be and just kind of ignoring what Nyx is doing. Did I miss it? Did Talon tell Nyx to come with her and I missed it? No, 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 no. no. Okay, I, okay. I'm, I'm applying my own okay. narrative to the struggle okay, between cool. these two siblings to I like, like 
both want to protect each other and also have different opinions. So, um, I'm only putting that pressure Nick's on you because... trying to be in two places at once right now. Right. Trying to, trying to do a little offense. I'm trying to set up when uh, Talon is down and one of the players is down that that's when I come in and say, no, Nix is going to choose Talon. You know what I mean? So, mm. um, that's... We'll see if we get there. That's going to bring up uh, the Breeze Traveler's turn who is back here. The leader of the fish folk um, next to his friend PC... <laughs> It's going to kind of like look at Laloon because, uh, you know, Laloon's got this plan for them a little bit. Are like, are they trying to stay right here? Like, uh, they're ready to take orders. Yeah, Laloon is like, uh, she's like charging up the spell and she's like, almost, almost. And there's this like, there's this like circle of moon fire like growing from the ground around uh, the remaining squad. She's like literally like two turns. I love it. I love it. Uh, growing from the ground around. Incredible. Um, cool. So, yeah, the Breeze Traveler, but he just needs to stay there, right? He doesn't need to help at all. He just needs nope, to stay there. he just needs to stay there. I mean, Perfect. he can help by c- casting a spell or even, you know, taking a pot shot at one of the uh, one of the guys that are coming at us, but... You betcha. He's going to shoot at the same Mind Flayer that Talon shot at. He's going to, he's going to pull his sword out, and he says... I, with the power of the uh, the Wind Rider, attack! And he gestures his sword forward, and two blasts of Eldritch Blast Hell uh, yeah, dude. come out here. And so I'm going to do two rolls here. Oh, no, I am I made the sounds. I hate making the sounds. Um, I love making the sounds. Oh, yeah, those are way, way more fun sounds. Um... Boy, he's gonna hit on both attacks here. Fuck yeah! So he the, is. the Welcome Breeze back. Traveler is gonna my uh, son. He's gonna hit and do five points of damage to yeah. the one that was still hit. counts. So still yeah. counts. Still counts. Thanks for those laser sounds, Jason, for the Breeze Traveler. <laughs> I appreciate that. That was great. Uh, I am also in support. Uh, and he kind of like looks at PC and he says, uh, "Make us proud, hun." What? Uh, kind of like encouraging him and looking at Schmacked and Tub 11. He says, be brave! Encouraging them as well. Uh, that's going to bring up Oxtrillian's turn, who is up here by y'all. Is up by yeah. the mouth of the entrance here, right next to you, Flute. And he's going to take a second, and he's going to take a pause, and he's going to look over at you, Flute, and he says, burn it all down, Yes. Right, just don't hurt any of us, but yeah, I'll point to the two lumpy boys down in the pool and I'll be like, yeah, them, them especially. He says, burn! And uh, he's going to step forward here. He's going to go through the fleshy door and he's going to throw a fireball um, and he's going to hit, or he's going to like throw it right on top of them, missing Kai here with this direction. So they're each going to make dexterity saving throws, which they both fail. Yeah. Shout out. Um, So there is going to be some fire ball action happening. Nice. 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 Let's go. Um, As. And I think with that too, let's have, let's have Kai and Click, let's have you both do perception checks for me. Okay. Not great. Not Eleven. Great. Five. Eleven and five? Okay. Never mind. I just Can don't the have Can the celestial do one? Thank you. Um, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Good read. I just asked. Good I mean, it's a it's a corporal form. No. It's an entity in the in the room. Yeah. Uh, each of these things take thirty two points of fire damage. Ooh. Fuck yeah. And okay. one of them melts away into yes, the ground. Uh, Did we get um, shoulders? You got shoulders. Shoulders yes. melts into the. Oh. Hold on. Suck shoulders, shoulders. 
Uh, you, did get said, you, did get you did get shoulders. You did get shoulders. You did get shoulders. Got shoulders. I forgot nice, about something nice. that I needed to roll for. Got it. Totally fine. Um, yeah, you see, like, uh, Australian nods at you, Flute, and, like, looks back with a huge smirk on his face. And it's like, burning time. Uh, and the fireball is going to stay up in that circle as well. It's going to take me a second to get it up on, on there. But you see that Knees, the other brain golem, just seems to be panicking as well from this fire. It takes uh, it takes the damage here uh, and is just truly panicking. Um, it, it's like running around flaming, like batting itself. Uh, <laughs> uh, seems, seems to be incredibly worried about this fire. Gets um, a, that's going to bring up fire extinguisher, accidentally points at it itself. <laughs> 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 it's gonna bring up Laloon. <laughs> All right, Laloon. Laloon casts teleport. Woo! Nice. Uh, where are you um, all teleporting to? We are teleporting into the room that she could see. Yep. Uh, she set all this up. She set all of this up. Um, oh, jeez. Okay. She casts into the room that she can see. Uh, seen casually, viewed once, probably, huh? Yes, definitely. So, um, she needs to roll a D100. It's a big roll. It's such a big roll. It's a huge roll. Uh, God, oh, God, don't. Let me just see. <laughs> Let me just see hey, if she has anything. I, look, Talon will deserve uh, whatever thunder step action happens to her. <laughs> Just kills the remaining fish. <laughs> I gotta be Oops. <laughs> Teleports them into the f- center of the earth. <laughs> Full fucking Philadelphia experiment on them. They're fused That's what those home. faces. That's what those faces in the brain golems are. Is people who got okay. teleported into their bodies. <laughs> Haunted. Recovery, divine like savant. Now Divination I'll, now, savant. I'll dream of that tonight. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You ever wake Third up and feel eye. like you're a face on the side of a giant brain golem? <laughs> you ever feel like God, there's a brain in the back of your head? Every damn day. <laughs> this is just the plot to Malignant. Um, oh, boy. That was pretty okay, she's uh, just got to roll it. She could right, use portent, but that roll. wouldn't put her in the right place. And, and I will say, too, this <sighs> is... Um, this is a role that if you what what is the tell us what the so, parameters are real quick Jordan I'll read because, you the uh, the spell text this spell instantly transports you and up to eight willing creatures of your choice that you can see within range uh, the range is like 120 feet or something yeah, I could have done this a long time crew, ago for sure um, it's a much it's anyway. Uh, if you target an object, it must be able to fit entirely inside a 10-foot cube, blah, 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 blah. The destination you choose must be known to you. It must be on the same plane of existence as you. Your familiarity with the destination determines whether you arrive there successfully. The DM rolls a D100 and consults the table. I get to do so, it. Um, so if it's a permanent circle, uh, you're on target with a 1 through 100. If it's an associated object... Don't really know what that means. Like you're you on target with a one space. through hundred. Uh, I see. Uh, if you're very familiar, you're on target with a twenty-five through a hundred. If you've seen it casually, <laughs> you're on target with a fifty-four through a hundred. If you've viewed it once, you're on target with a seventy-four through a hundred. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, shit. Hang on, oh my hang god! On. Hang on. However. If you get uh, a 44 through a 53 puts you in similar area and uh, view different elder brain. Well, I think it means like <laughs> the room, I'm just, right? I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you're 54 through 73, it means you're off target. Oh, fuck. Um, let's see. And this is what those things mean. Um Bummer. Okay, off target. You and your group or the target object appear in a random distance away from the destination in a random direction. The distance is off target by 1d10 times 1d10 percent of the distance that was to be traveled. <laughs> um, 
Uh, oh my God. We'll deal with that bridge when we come to it. A similar area is, as Aaron says, you and your group wind up in a different area that's visually or thematically similar to the target area. If you're no. heading for your home laboratory, for example, you might wind up in another wizard's laboratory or in an alchemical supply shop. This is a, a terrible of, idea. Of Harlan, boils. roll it away. Um, so oh. I put it just to be uh, very fair. I, I rolled it and took a picture and I put it in the spoilers channel of our Discord. So uh, just so folks can see it there, I did roll an immaculate five. Good um, lord. And Fuck. I don't think I've ever rolled this low oh my on a God. D100. So we're going to need to insane. go ahead and cut to break here. Because oh, this is no. very bad. <laughs> uh, but Jordan, I will say I would love for oh. I would love for you to give who, us the who scene. is she taking? She's taking everybody. Not yeah. everybody. Not, not everyone not around fish, her. It's the fish folk. Yeah, Talon, who's around her? I should have PC known. She did this exact same traveler. thing last time. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, uh it's two fish folk, the breeze traveler, PC, uh Laloon and Talon she did do this I last time, this. didn't she? Talon, at least she actually. She's getting I will rid say, of some... yeah, I will say, Rachel, if you want to have, uh, this is up to you. If you want to have Talon wanting to have stayed here, I will let Talon stay here. But that's a decision you have to make right now. Oh man, that leaves Talon alone against the uh, closing horde. Uh, uh, Talon would be teleported with them, right? If she well, was a what willing we're discussing creature. right now is if yeah, she yeah. wants yeah, to. If she's a willing creature. Oh, wanting to have stayed. I see. I see. Because she was kind of like bringing up the rear, but she might have had this like in mind a little bit, seeing this she plan. Can, it's up to you. Can't she fly anyway? Well, yeah, she, she can thinks fly. That, yeah. she thinks that they're they're going into the room. Yeah. Totally. Uh, that's the thing is like if Talon yeah. knows that they're going into the room to get into the fight, that feels like Talon to go. Yeah. Right. Okay. I mean, it, that, that's like what that. I also that saw the like scene where strategically, I would prefer that she just fly back, and I, as a player, did not know we were being teleported. So it's like if she didn't know it was happening, then she wouldn't have prepared to teleport. But if Laloon was like, Psst, "We're going in," and, and that's what I she's feel going like, in. That I want you out of game. Like you can decide if you want talent to go or not go because I think that there's absolutely an argument we skip over a lot in these and there's absolutely an argument why Laloon would have cued her in on this but the, I also see the plot line where she like didn't know and she's like bringing up the rear to hold them off you know yeah so that was it's, that it's was up, more my intention when I was playing it is totally so. up to you just in or out if you if you want her to go or want her to stay Man, there's a lot of mind flares before she goes next. Uh, how close are they? Do we know how close the mind flares are? We don't know. We don't know where they're going. They're about a. They're about a fireball's distance away. Oh gosh! So not that's not too far. No. How far is a fireball's distance? <sighs> Sixty feet. Fireball's like thirty. Six, feet, thirty feet radius. I'll tell you right now. Sixty feet. There's sixty I, feet. I, I she, I don't think she's gonna willingly try to teleport away from her sister. Well, she I mean she would be te- she would be teleporting closer to her sister. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Fuck, I don't know. Well, it wouldn't be close. It would actually be farther away from her sister. Well, Rachel, you're the DM. I'm so the DM. <laughs> figure uh, it okay. out. I will have her stay and not teleport. Cool. All Love right, it. great. We're going to cut to break. It. We'll see you in five minutes. We're going to drink, pee, and we'll see you in just five minutes. Thanks, everybody. Oh, boy. She's going to get oh so boy. stunned. She's just going to get stunned and be by herself over there. It's going to be so bad. Okay, so we're back. After Laloon's turn went terribly so I, I love the idea too Ugh. of uh, she's like prepped the fish folk for this moment she looks around she's looking at Breeze Traveler she looks at PC like Breeze Traveler shoots off these spells and they're all kind of like bracing themselves and Talon not quite knowing what's going on is just like hangs onto a rock and sees Loon casting a spell and thinks it's just maybe not for her 
and this whole group of Laloon, Piss Cricket, the Breeze Traveler, Tubalubby, and Schmacked. So the Fish Pack and Fish Pack in Laloon are all teleported into a room that I will give you for the art for right now. I will show you Ooh. exactly where they are. So the stream. There's art will for this room? Too. That's scary. Um Yeah. And I will I'll bring us over Excellent. here. Oh no. And so you all uh Laloon is like ready to go into this brine pool room. She's seen it and she knows immediately whew, she's not in the right place because this is a this looks like a beautiful forest for a moment. It has all this mm. like dark blue shrubbery that's all bioluminescent throughout. It has this like mushroom growth all up uh, above all the walls and it has these like shimmering blue purple rock forms tucked into five alcoves uh, of this cavernous space as well. And she almost thinks she's in some sort of heavenly underdark for a moment before she can see um, these doorways that are all open um and I, I've, I've put uh, the tokens in the wrong spot. The, the mind flare should be on these doorways because you can see this huge portal in the middle of the room that is powering. Uh, you can see about eight doorways, and they're all leading to other dimensional spaces, seemingly powered by these like crystal rock forms in this room. And it, there's one huge portal open in the middle. Uh, uh, of this room and on the platform that is attached to the portal there's you know eight different doorways that are all glowing and you can see a mind flare step through one and a mind flare step through another and it it seems to be conjuring mind flares from other dimensions uh, through this portal that is powering all of these doorways so there is some sort of network of portal doors open here um, okay. in this bioluminescent rock garden that Laloon sees here. So if you have other questions, you can follow up with that, absolutely. But I would say it's more of a panic yeah. of Laloon sees six mind flares in this room. Yeah. Wah, wah, wee, wah. Um, uh, my question is, and I hate to do this to myself, Please. how much damage does everyone take? Oh, yeah, because with the teleport spell... Uh, if you have a mishap, you take three d10 force damage. Uh, Jordan, since I've been rolling so terribly for you, why don't you roll this one? Why don't you roll three d10 for me? Oh, jeez. Make it your fault. Yeah. Three d10. All right, I'm going to roll a d30. It's gonna be 23 damage, Harlan. Oh my god, you rolled so high. God. No, that just kills Goodbye, t- fish the folk. two fish folk. Maybe the breeze traveler too. Laloon sees him knocks him out. Laloon sees an unconscious yeah. Tubblubby next to her, an unconscious Schmacked next to her, and an unconscious Piss Cricket next to her. Breeze Traveler looks he's like bleeding from both of his uh from every fish orifice he has, um, but or is still up. Or a fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got me. <laughs> um, Brutal. Okay. Okay. I would say, well. too, like, like jam, jam on me with this for a little bit, Jordan. Mm-hmm. This is the first time. Lulun is a level 20 caster. And I think this is the first time where she has felt like, I'm not helping here. You know, like uh, she's like having this moment of like being this extra dimensional, powerful being that has been sitting around to try and guide fate in a direction that helps the world. And this is the first time in all of this campaign where she has doubted herself, where she's like, fuck. I think uh, just to push back a little bit. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's riff on. I think I don't think that she does doubt herself. I think she looks so sad. And she kind of nods and she looks at the others and she goes, I'm sorry, my friends. This is how it happens. Oh, oh that's way better. Oh, this is how oh. it must be. Yeah, she sees both flashes. Like she doubts and then she, it kind of like, in the same way she would give any of you all a pep talk, she gives herself that pep talk. Yeah. And it flattens mm-hmm. out. 
and she kind of like nods at the breeze traveler and the breeze traveler nods back um yeah. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> um cool i will say if you'd like to use your movement you do have 30 feet of movement but you don't have to. Uh, she uses her movement to shit everyone's pants. Okay. Cool. <laughs> She's going to use a bowel movement. <laughs> All 30 feet of it. All 30 feet of it. No. She's been saving this one up. Uh, Andrew's going to have to clean his office chair again after this one. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Incredible. Great turn, Jordan Dahl. Great turn. Was um, it? <laughs> yeah, it was. For the story, absolutely. That is going to bring uh, up Olaf and Ticulus's turn. I forgot about the rest of the game. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> definitely was not preparing for Olaf and Ticulus to go. Um, do you want to? Can we, just for the while, while we're stalling a little bit for your turn? Uh, let's go back and look at this just like truly incredible map from uh, from every map of story. Josh is has just crushed this. When I I won't give you too many details about what is going oh. on in this room because uh, I haven't revealed them yet. Oh. But m- man, look! I, n- I need the uh, I need the roll twenty map. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Sorry. All right, let us all look at it in awe for a second. Everyone absorb it. No, in. We'll go back to the other map for Aaron to strategize. Yep. We can we can marvel at this part. Now too. I have to Look start again. Uh, it's all amazing. Uh, Olaf Anticulus is going to move. He's going to fly in his chair forward a bit, a bit into the room. Sure, past the fleshy door, and um, he is gonna. Let's see, he's concentrating still. Need to be. He's gonna cast polymorph on this brain golem. Cool. Um. So it needs to make a saving throw. Wisdom. Uh, it succeeds, and Olafenticulus can roll a Arcana check here. Okay. That is a dirty 20 for Olafenticulus. Olafenticulus has this click in his mind that as he casts this spell uh, on the brain golem, he would know about, enough about golems to maybe not apply this immediately, but once it hits him and he sees the spell just bounce off of him, he would know that golems have an immutability right. about them that does not allow them to be changed forms. Yeah, if anything, he, this would tell him that this is some some kind of golem. Yes, it, it is. It is absolutely a golem, and it is immune to being shape shifted. Um, yeah. Got it. Well, now I know. <laughs> My turn's over. <laughs> yeah. Clang, clang, kind of like. Uh, pecks at him a little bit. Like, it's the first time you see what? him just sit from Clang. There's like, <laughs> kind of like being like, remember, remember. Um, I and, do, I did. What? Stop it. Uh, yeah, one of the frogs that is strapped to your um, wand of uh, extra dimensional polymorph is like, yeah, that's a problem from time to time. And um, holy shit, <laughs> you can talk. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's gonna bring up Schmack's turn, who is gonna roll a death saving throw, oh, and man. that is going to bring up Flute. It is your turn. Flute's turn. Well, shit. Well, <gasps> shit. Flute's going to fly into this room. Has knees uh, taken any damage yet? Knees has taken fireball damage. Right. How could I have forgotten? Um, I'm going to fly into the room. Um, right here. Um, and look down on knees. 
Ashes by yeah. the remaining Scum. eye turns black and you hear a bell toll beyond the confines of this huge room in the distance as I cast Toll the Dead and it has to give me a wisdom saving throw. Cool. Bing bong! Uh, it... <laughs> Yes. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. <laughs> Seems I to guess Bing Bong the Dead. <laughs> uh, there's a large doorbell noise, and um, it it seems to be totally oblivious to you as you fly out here and you cast a spell. Um, and it does have disadvantage on this because of its aversion to fire um, and the fact that it just took fire damage. Um, it seems to have disadvantage in this moment as it's trying to put its it puts itself out, but uh, it still succeeds on the save, um, even with disadvantage here. Really, it's an eighteen. It saves. On an 18. It does save on on the eighteen. Yeah. Brutal. Okay. Unfortunately. Um. Then it doesn't take anything. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it doesn't take anything. Cool. Well, that's my turn. All right. Um. That is going to bring up the uh, brain golem who is not currently on the map, who is holding its action. What? What? If multiple people were in range of its psychic ability and you see bursting like a shark out of the water, a brain golem that is between you, Kai, and... Flute, and now that Flute is in range of it too, the brain golem bursts out of the water and goes, and there's this large pulse off of it. (laughs) And I need Kai and Flute to both make saving throws here for me. Um, What kind? Of what flavor? Of what flavor? Uh, It is, oh shoot. Um, Charisma? <laughs> Not charisma, Intelligence? unfortunately. It's worth a shot. It's worth yeah, a shot. they are intelligence saving throws. Nice, right. love it. Great, <laughs> super fucking perfect. Oh, I failed. What'd you get? Uh, no. Oh boy, a failure. I got it. Of a roll, a four. <laughs> uh, twenty-six. Cool. So, Kai, you succeed uh, of this psionic burst, and you see Flute frozen, um, stunned in place. Um, and uh, how are you flying right now, Flute? I had a fly cast it's on me. my spell. Oh, it's Kai's spell. There you mm-hmm. go. So you are still frozen up in the air, um, but you are stunned in place there. Perfect. Mm. Love that. Um, great. Oh. That is going to be the end of its turn, uh, which is tec- technically the end of Flute's turn. So because it's the end of uh, a player character's turn, I'm going to take a legendary action from the Elder Brain. What? Yeah, what? Oh, no, he's here. Um, Reveal yourself, Brain. Spooky brain sounds. And Debate I me. <laughs> I'm did here you for me? trivia. Me. I did. <laughs> uh, Sorry I'm late. I was watching C-SPAN. Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> Show me where I was wrong, though. <laughs> um, and Flute and Kai you both take 12 points of psychic damage as there is oh. another burst off of the uh, this brain golem the first one was a uh, like this psychic burst that you recognize that comes out of the mind flares that is this like psionic stun and this is more of uh, like a decrepit psionic energy that is following up like a lightning blast of Damn. psychic energy and you uh, each take 12 points of damage here. Um, Sucks. I have to make a concentration check. 
and flute, you can also make another intelligence saving throw as well. Oh, right, because I got yeah. hurt. Uh, uh, const- go ahead. Sorry, I'm just. It's a success. We're still flying. We're still, still flying, flying, baby. Flute, you still stunned? Four, I got a 14. Yep, you are still stunned uh, in place there. So <gasps> all. 12 uh, points of damage, and that is. That was the. Legendary action, and that was the surprise attack, or the the held action from the brain golem. So that was the that's the end of Flute's turn, which is going to bring up his cricket, who is unconscious. Who so I'm going to roll a death saving throw for, and then uh, Tubblebby, who is also unconscious. Who so I'm going to roll a death saving throw for, and then it is going to um, bring up. Uh, Shoot. It's going to bring up actually technically before his cricket and before Tubble Lubby, uh, but you know that those things still happen. But after Flute's turn, it is going to bring up Knees, who is going to move um, outside of the fireball range, which I still haven't put on the map, and I need to. Um, but it's going to move outside of the fireball range. It's going, it's going to move thirty feet right here. So is the surface of this brine pool on fire now? Uh, there is flame above the water, correct. Um, the but it seems deep enough for a uh, uh, hunky golem to submerge themselves in? The, yeah, hunky the, golem. The, it, it My is detective because it, name. Because it bursts out of the water, it is going to take four points of damage, but the um, if it were to go underwater, it is it would not take damage because the the fireball does not is not able to go down into the brine brine pool. Excuse me. Um, Knees is going to move over here next to you, Kai, and get hello. Clo- uh, it's going to get close enough. Hopefully, ooh. Oh yeah, it's going to move one more foot here to be able to. Have click, Olafenticulus and Kai. All of you need to make a intelligence saving throw as it also lets out this bellow. And with the bellow, there's this earth moving ripple that is the same psionic burst that comes out of the mind flare. 25. Uh, 22. Oh boy. Oh, I get advantage on that one because of my, my intellect fortress, right? Sure do. Great. Olifanticulus succeeded. I'm almost certain. Well, let me just look what at his sheet. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah. He got a twenty-seven. Okay. Okay. Incredible. Um. Great. Ooh. thing um cool yeah the, the brain golem moves up here lets out this blast and kind of like kai you look around for a second and can see that no one around you is affected by it uh all of Inticulous click all, all of you like feel Good. this v- now familiar pulse of psionic energy that you're like a like a surfer ducking a wave just you flick off no problem i flick him off <laughs> uh Cool. Flute, I do need you to do one more thing for me. This was a held action. I almost forgot. Um, Oh, no. I'm going to scream. Oh, no. Fun. Um, You feel something wriggle up the back of your neck. God damn it. I am flying up in the air. And then, yeah, so roll, uh, roll, I'll give you an easy perception check here. And if you, if you, if you get under a 10, uh, I got to give you some real, uh, fiction tied in with truth. But if you get above a 10, I'll just tell you what's going on. Uh, I got a 15. 15? Okay. Um, there is some sort of psionic tentacle wrapping itself around your mind. 
like the, the, which is not there's no actual tentacle coming out of the water there's no connect like physical creature crawling on you there's just something that has latched onto your <clears> mind <throat> and you say you hear hello and you know that the elder brain has some sort of psychic connection to you now and if you want to on your turn you can try you can use an action to break it i will tell you but right now it is an action to what to break it if you if you you can try and break it on your turn using an action but right now it has some sort of psionic hold on your brain or connection to your brain cool Um, plus i'm stunned currently plus you are stunned currently yeah um that is going to uh, that is going to bring up. It's going to bring us back to the top of the initiative order here. Uh, with click. Okay. Um. Click. Fix it. I don't know if I can. <laughs> it's going to be a real bummer of a. It's going to be a real bummer of a finale if we all just die in a mind flare. <laughs> nest. I can only smash. We we're begging for I could, it. I could hit knees a whole lot. I could hit flute, but I really don't want flute to just fall into the brine. He won't. Um, yeah, Kai's got the fly. That's right. Or, yeah. Is yeah. it worth an attack? So this this purple island that that Kai is on is a habitable island, as far as we can tell. It yeah, looks it, like what I'm standing on. It's undulating, and Kai's flying above it. But uh, you can you can definitely try to stand on. You it. can hear it undulating. Cool, 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 cool. Um, man. So if I'm here, am I within melee range and can and standing on this purple bit, or am yep, I split? Yep, yep. There's Great. there's there's five feet between the upper area, this kind of like uh, solid plastic almost uh, that you first stepped in on with the Chihuahua claws. Yeah. But uh, you can be down on the lower area in the squishy bits, but not on the full on undulating area that Kai is floating above. Um, I would so you're basically avoid. You're between a brain yeah. golem and a hard place if you stand right there. But um, look, oh. episode title. Everything's <laughs> between brain golems over here. So I will run over here and I will hit this motherfucker with a stick. Attack the enemy of Will Potter's mom right here. Um, <laughs> For Will's mom! Yeah, uh, it's a 16 to hit <laughs> on that first one. <laughs> 16 does hit. Yeah. 16 does hit? 16 Back does hit. The These are very squishy boys. <laughs> Oath of the mom. Uh, 14 slashing mom. on that first hit. Uh, second one will hit as well. Uh, that's 11 slashing, 25 altogether. Alrighty. I will hit it again. Uh, and 15 to hit. 15 does hit. These are Great. squishy boys. Yeah. Great. Uh, another 11 slashing. Cool. And this is the second hit on the second attack. Is will hit as well. It's another 12 slashing. Um, so she is absolutely going to wail on this thing as much as she possibly can. And then she is going to pivot, do a little bit of a turn, and try and send a gentle chachkacha at Flute's dumb head. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool if Click just had like a nerf chachka that she keeps yeah. on hand yeah. just for this uh, <laughs> for frequent, the whistling frequent nerf. use. Yes. <laughs> I will say this, te- <laughs> this attack has advantage. So. Yeah, well, it's. Great. That's I didn't I crit, saying. but I oh. certainly hit. 
Uh, <laughs> it's like a 28 to hit or something. And uh, just a casual 12 slashing. Oh, no. Yeah. My life. I failed the save. So. <laughs> so glad to hear it. Gave you another shot at uh, failing. Okay. That's how I have. Yeah. Right. Flute frozen. Fl- flute frozen in place takes the hit. It just like blood starts dripping down into the brine pool. Um, Man. Thanks for the drive. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to do anything else you with your turn? You to wake you up so you... No, I'm done. I'm Wonderful. S- I'm stupid. My <laughs> intelligence is low. <laughs> uh, that is going to... it'd be fun to make a stupid character. <laughs> <laughs> but now we played too long and I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> we keep doing all these brainy fights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Talon uh, sees. Yeah, that's bad. So bad. Yeah, Talon sees a mind flayer appear through the flames. In fact, sees three mind flayers appear through Uh-oh. the flames. Um, they have all Should taken some better? fire damage as well. They do take uh, fire damage here, but Talon is here in this space alone um, all of a sudden as there is this teleportation that happens of them away. And as soon as they get within 10 feet of that guardian of faith, something happens to them. Well, yeah, so the first one hits the guardian of faith and what happens? Give us some what? description and mechanics here, Andrew. Uh, the This like spectral form of this like armored warrior woman that was just kind of like hovering there uh, slashes out with her sword that for an instant seems to take like corpor- corporeal form and it has to make a dexterity saving throw. Um, all right. And also, uh, let me correct myself. It's only two mind flayers because one of the mind flayers in this point of the initiative was one that was stunned for fucking ever and so Great. is farther behind. So it's just two. But Okay. Um, that is, uh, can't imagine. Really one succeeded fine. and one failed. Okay, the one that fails takes an automatic 20 radiant damage. Ooh. As it, shoosh, it kind of slices it, and the one that succeeded uh, takes 10 automatic radiant damage. Shoosh, as it also uh, slices them as well. All right, nice. cool. So they both Duck. are up, but look like, yeah, this, this spiritual uh, figure just like slashes it down. And I will say, Talon sees these creatures, uh, like this, this form, it like takes the form of Nyx for a moment, like holding this great weapon and just slashing at them. Um, and but the mind flayers are still here and are going to. Yeah. Uh, one of them is going to look at you. Um, the elite one is going to look at Talon and shoot a psionic blast at her. So if she can make an intelligence saving throw, oh boy, it's okay. a big one. It's gonna be good. It's good. No, Scully, this is not the time. <laughs> Scully, Scully is does not want you to roll. Doesn't just be like, oh, sorry, flag on the play here. We gotta, we gotta okay. reset everything. We're the, That's S- fine. Scully's kind of stalling at the clock, right? Intelligence save, uh, dirty twenty. Okay. Whoa, Scully. <laughs> Scully is celebrating. Yikes. She fully fell off the desk. I don't. Good she Lord. didn't slip on anything. She just turned around. She was so. She, she was slid. celebrating. She, she was celebrating the twenty feet. there. <laughs> she, uh, what a goof! But she scared herself pretty bad. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Well, oh, this is kitty. this might scare her more as uh, Talon succeeds here from the elite mind flare and sees the other mind flare step up and is also going to burn its psionic blast to try and yeah. stun. Uh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Which yep. is good. Okay. It's good that she's burning both of these if she's able to resist. So. Ah! This is 21. 
Fuck yeah. 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 Give us some Fuck. flavor yes. here. Talon's Give so us some smart. flavor here on this moment of Talon <gasps> being alone, seeing these mind flayers come through the fire and be floating toward her as she's alone and, and resisting this. Oh, man. I mean, Talon ran back and was like, there's a crew of us. There's a level 20 wizard. We got lots of people to defend the mouth of this fight. And then as she arrives, everyone's glowing and everyone is suddenly disappears around her. And she's alone in a mind flayer palace with magic missile. <laughs> 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 and uh, suddenly the support character has no one to support. Um, but you know what? Her sister is back there. And uh, yeah, no defend way the mouse. She's... Yeah. Cool. She's getting right. back to her. We will defend this mouse. Great, great mind flare turn for Talon. Uh, that's going to bring up Moon Boy. <sighs> oh, shit. Moon boy, Moon boy is going to cast Ah, uh, jeez. Yeah. We're we're in the shit here. We're in tough we're spots. We're in the shit, y'all. No, we're not in the tough spot. We're in the tough spot. You are the <laughs> tough spot. Hi, <laughs> I, 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 my name is Harlan Kelly. No I'm the dungeon master of this game, and I am the no tough spot. Here. I am a tough spot. <laughs> I play all the tough spots in this game. Boy's going we're to all having forward. a hard time right now, aren't we? Isn't this Dang. tough for all I've of been, us? I've, I've been having a hard so time this whole campaign you really tough. with you all. I know. <laughs> it's just... Uh. <laughs> Aaron, I sent you a rules question. Oh, well, just tell, us, tell us right now. Tell us right now. So that well, okay, while Jordan's my rules question. So, Guardian of Faith, it says, uh, any creature hostile to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of the Guardian for the first time on a turn must succeed on a dexterity Ooh. saving throw. Uh, what about on a subsequent turn, if they haven't moved at all, but they're still within 10 feet of the Guardian, do they then just take that damage? Or is it only if they is that move? the entire text of the spell? Because it I would seems say like... It, it says move into the space on a first time on a turn, they would have to move into the space on their turn again. So if they moved into the space, moved out of it, and then moved into it, yes, they, it could take, happen multiple times. But it, because it doesn't say they start their turn there or end their turn there, if they're already within the space of it, I would say they don't take the damage again. But that's... So if they me. just stay still, it just doesn't trigger again. That's yeah, what I would the whole say. Spell. Yeah. But that, I, I haven't I I looked say. at the text of the spell, but... It, if it specifically says move into the space for the first time on a turn. Yes, it does. Yeah. Like it can stay there and every time a different mind flayer moves into that space or if if they go in and they try and retreat and they run out and they enter the space again, still taking that damage, you know? But if once they kind of, it's about the breaking the barrier from what I can tell, so... That's my that's my. If they move at turn. all on their next turn, it would trigger because then they're within ten feet of it and they've moved. But so doesn't it, it say move into the space? Any space. It says a uh, creature hostile to that moves to a space within ten feet of the guardian. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay cool yeah so yeah. If they yeah. move at all while they're within ten feet of there, that's moving into a space. Ten, which is within ten feet. Which is very important because if you look at these where these mind flares ended up, they ended up within ten feet. And so if they want to pass through there, they're going to have to move on their turn for the yeah. first time Trip into a again. space that is within ten feet of them. So they will trigger it again. Yeah. That, that's cool. a great okay. this is a good distinction right there for sure. So Um Harlan, I am realizing that protection from Good and evil is a concentration spell. Mm -hmm. um, I did not think it was. I am going to not cast it and instead hold fly. <laughs> sure. Because we behaved yeah. as if fly was still happening. Absolutely. So Laloon does not have protection, but uh, 
I am just doing some more talent mm-hmm. research. Sure, I, I'll take I'll take that because you like you know I, I'm not gonna like be like gotcha and you have to drop it. So yeah, no problem. Okay, Moon Boy is going to cast. Fuck, Moon Boy casts fuck. Uh, oh, Moon Boy D and D after dark. Power sorry, Will. Sorry, Will's mom. Shit. <laughs> um. We're trying to be. We're trying to be polite on here. We're trying to be above board. No, we're not. F word. <laughs> uh, Moonboy is going to uh, reach out his hand and kind of trace it in the air over this pool, and uh, something coalesces out of moonlight over the pool, and it is uh, the outline of this strange serpentine, silvery. Uh, it almost looks like an oar fish, but instead of uh, instead of fins, it has these massive wing-like uh, mm. kind of flippers on the side of it. And he is summoning a um, a water elemental, Ooh. and uh, it is going to f- plunge Sick. into the pool. Uh, water elemental on the board, please. Uh, as he does this, he's going to, uh, he kind of snaps into a more angry version of himself and the, the craters on his body flip around. Uh, that ain't no water elemental. I know, oh, that's I, just, from, I was halfway uh, through this, yeah. Right. Um, and, uh, he's going, going to, involved. he's going to unleash another, uh, uh, a bonus action from his form from his archer's moon um, which is what he calls his butthole sorry <laughs> no. No. no no obviously not how have we not made any mooning jokes yet at all with moon boy we've not made one we single we, mooning joke we named that episode moon boy's that. hole that's yeah, true we but sure did. Not, like, we definitely on. did <laughs> But like mooning boy, you know, we've not done any right, like, right. like he's is the butt shower. Um, uh, <laughs> the butt shower. The butt shower. Uh, so Jordan, I'm gonna give you access to this token so you can move it around and place it on the board. Uh, he's like. going to cast a. Um, let's see. And this is not the conjure elemental spell, right? This is like the con. This is the one that this lets you do summon it. elemental. Got it. Cool. Just double checking, but we're on the same page. Yeah. Yep. Uh, He's going to make a bonus ranged spell attack against uh, this one right here. Uh, knees? Is that knees? knees? You, yep, that is knees. Uh, great. Uh, that's Don't the one that, that. It, it has not been named is toes. Just to be clear. Um, that's <laughs> going to be a gotta, twenty-one gotta. to hit. Twenty-one does hit. Great. That guy is going to take sixteen damage. Oh boy. Give me just a second. He is still up, but he is um, spurting his knees. Clear f- uh, nope, he's still up. He's still standing up, but he's just uh, has a few different currents of clear liquid just uh, coming out of different parts of his body as he is leaking and wounded. Um, Great. Uh, so I'm going to call it the end of Moon Boy's turn. You can do anything else if you'd like to. Off. Uh, I'm going to tell you how sure. that uh, summon elemental is a concentration spell, which means that my polymorph drops. Wee. All right. Um, great. So that, that's the mind witness. It is the mind witness. Um, that is going to then bring up another mind flare and I have to figure out which one it is um, even the, the map is we've the map is even rejecting me right now um, it is mad at me for having this animated fire on it but here we go Let's look at it uh, another mind flare is going to go through the fire here uh, it's gonna Ow. take three points of damage. And I need Talon. Give me Versus the old. Gotta make a dexterity saving oh. throw. You're very right. You're very right. Uh, what's the DC to save? Sixteen. It failed. 
Okay, oh, so yeah. now I'm at a 20 damage. Ooh, that, this is huge. This is huge. Uh, just chisels away. Uh, you know, this this uh, celestial version of Nyx is just standing there and just, like, carves off. Literally like a, 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 like a carved turkey just takes this huge chunk of the mind flare off as it floats in here toward Talon. And it's, like, wounded and kind of, like, sputtering and has all this black... Uh, Icor coming out of Icor coming out of it, and Talon has to make a intelligence saving throw. Is it Icor? I've been saying I, it is Icor. I don't want to talk about it. it. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I've been saying it. I, I've been saying <laughs> I know, it. I know. Wrong too. I got corrected so many times during uh, uh, Magic's last Icor set. I don't Just believe. Making sure that there's it's nothing right. I can do to improve this. But I've been told that it's right. Well, I don't think there's anything I can do, so it's a 16 or bust. Boy. Stillness. The quiet. Did you hear her? What's happening? Andrew's, Andrew's doing triple crossies. We're finding out. Talon has succeeded on two. Talon no. I I told you it was a, it's a sixteen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought I thought we were do, I thought we were doing a tremendous <laughs> oh, deal. I thought you were holding. I thought you were holding. I thought, no, I thought, I thought you were holding. Sure. And I was like, that's incredible. Like, no, I thought look, I, I thought got sixteen. Were... That's all I got. I was looking for uh, <laughs> if there's anything I could use to boost it, and uh, I don't think so. So sixteen is what it is. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I thought I thought we were holding. We both thought we were both holding for each other. I enjoyed uh, it. It was a great moment. <laughs> yeah, we were. It, it is I wish terrible. I did it on purpose. I wish I did it on purpose. Yeah. Um, as this talent is like feeling hot for a second of like, oh yeah, like like she dodges both of those. She rides both of those psionic waves, and then the third one pops through and just gets her as she's kind of like looking smug and just oh, no. <laughs> freezes her in place. Um, I will say no. It's her turn next turn. Ugh. Oh, boy! Man, she to save on her really, turn. No. Yeah, but like she's not gonna be able to move. I think you get you make the save at the end of your turn. Yeah, she's stuck there. She's gonna get absolutely ah. wrecked. Fuck. Uh, it is and her turn. I'm... Would you like to have her make the saving throw? Sorry, I was doing one more. You're pausing for dramatic effect. Well, yeah. Well, here we go. Well, she saves, but I mean, that's mechanically that is a big deal. I mean, like even if she doesn't get out of there, it is huge for her to not be currently stunned yeah. in front of uh, these mind flayers. Who, once she gets stunned, you see all their tentacles just kind of like float up in the air and kind of like surge toward her a little bit. Yeah, um, I. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Well, so. g- give us a little bit of flavor on this moment as she does get stunned and then pulls herself out. It's just like... I mean, can imagine the horror of being alone, dodging two oh things, getting hit, and then coming to, and you're still surrounded by mind flares. Truly. There's, and there's a statue of your sister between you you and certain brain eating and she's stuck there there's no, I don't think there's anything I can do to try yep. and move her so correct yep it's a uh, it's a tough one yeah all right it's going to bring up Kai's turn okay um I am going to blast that guy. the guy who is uh, the one who's standing in the fire still. Uh, ooh, that is... Um, so toes. I think he's... Yeah. That's Toes? I thought that's the, Toes. Oh, okay. Which knees one is, is taking the, the most damage? Knees, which is next to you. Knees. All right, I'll, I'll attack the Knees The brain golems. Yeah, Knees is the one who's taking the most damage. I mean, besides shoulders, he was down. Advantage, luckily. That's going to be a 24 to hit. 24 does hit. All right. It's 
Uh, 14 points of force damage and two points of fire damage. All right. And uh, if they're still alive, I'll shoot them again. They sure are. Uh, and they seem to be perturbed by the fire damage that you Ooh. did. And so they... That's natural uh, 20. They are going to have Oof. extra effects. Woo! Let's go. So fire good. Fire, fire good. bad, depending on... Oh, shit. Bring it down! Bring it down! <laughs> uh, that's gonna be 33 points of damage. What Ooh. is... Ooh. What was we damage, could baby? use some it dice. It is still up, but it is truly uh, a Swiss cheese with a fire it's hose through it. S- just six like points of that are liquid. fire damage. I don't, I don't know if that matters. It does, yeah. I mean, it, it does in the sense of uh, it is going to have this disadvantage effect already put on it as it seems very perturbed, uh, both by the fire being on it and all of this brain matter just falling off of it. And there is just a puddle surrounding it of this like clear liquid that is clear, uh, that is absolutely definitely brine um, that has just like poured out on the floor. Harlan, I hate to do this, but my elemental didn't get to go. And it oh, goes sure. right after me. Sure, yeah. Uh, does it, it gets a go yes. on the turn that it, it's conjured? Yes. Uh, All right, cool. Let, let's let Kai finish the turn, count, and then we'll, we'll get it. But it, it takes turn its turn sure. immediately after yours. Cool. Yeah. Let's, so let, let's finish uh, Kai's turn, and then we'll, we'll go mm-hmm. over to yep. I feel like I want to know if this elemental learns anything important before I finish <laughs> my turn. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't get to. So yeah, finish your turn, <laughs> and then we'll, we'll, we'll pop over the elemental. I'm not going to move, and I'm going to use my bonus action to activate my defensive field, and I'll gain some temporary hit points from glowing, which is healthy for robots, and uh, (laughs) that's the end of my turn. Great. Hell yeah. All right. uh, And now, Elemental. Um, The Elemental splashes into the water and swims down 40 feet. Uh, Does it see anything? Uh, give it. Let's let's have you can do a perception check. If it uh, if it has anything, any kind of special sights, now is very uh, an important time to do it. Uh, but I will give it unobscured, regular like thirty foot vision because it's a water elemental, um, and this brine yeah. is like close enough to water. So if it has any special sorts of vision, now is a, a good time. But um, if not, Senses. I will give you. It has dark vision, sixty feet. Huge. Cool. Well, then I will give you. I won't give you a disadvantage perception check, and I'll just have you do a straight up regular perception check. What is it? perception? Wisdom. Yes. Nineteen on the dice. Um, yes. It is. It has pulled itself down into melee range of Fuck the yeah. elder brain because it has dived down here, and you can see there is an completely submerged tank that is uh, it is right next to um, uh, tank as in like within this pool the elder brain is within a tank that is correct you have seen this tank before oh yeah uh, sure it is a glass shield that it builds around itself um, and it seems to have be set at the bottom of the water like a sunken ship uh, inside of this brine pool. And because you got a 19, I will tell you, the el- the elemental also sees a large hole at the bottom of this brine pool as well. Not at the bottom of the tank, uh, but at the bottom of the brine pool, there's also this like hole that goes deeper down. Like a, Yikes. Like a bathtub bad? drain, almost. It's not plugged, it's just open. So. Um, you want to get any grosser, or is that cool? <laughs> I mean, bathtub drain makes me think I can drain this thing, which would be a, com- a tremendous advantage. I mean, it, it, it's not plugged up; it is like an open hole. Right? Is it just? Does it just seem to be a, a thing going down, like a yeah, tunnel? Yeah, it's, it's more of an uh, aquatic tunnel than it is a bathtub drain. That was maybe the wrong description. It attacks. 
right? I have an idea. Absolutely. It can melee attack. Uh, uh, it will be doing... It goes up to this thing, and it kind of uses these big, like, wing-like appendages to swing up to it, and as soon as it gets up to it, uh, the brain would notice that it has these two... Do you know what a... Do you know what a... Um, uh, uh, what are those shrimp called that have the little punching arms? <laughs> I don't I know. I know what you're talking about. I, I don't know what they're Hang on. Man, mantis I must know. shrimp? Yes. Yeah, mantis shrimp sounds good. It is. It's a mantis shrimp. It has these little punching arms. And that's kind of what this thing resembles. It's sort of a cross between a shrimp and an eel. And it, uh, it strikes out two times at this tank. Wham, wham! Uh, and it is going to multi-attack. The elemental makes a number of attacks equal to half the spell's level. Round yeah, Enrico, down. they have, like, one of the craziest... It's, like, punching power to body weight or something yeah. like oh, that. Yeah. Like, the ratio is really crazy. Spell yeah. attack modifier to hit. What is... Oh, it's my spell attack modifier to hit. That's dope. Um, That's good. To- Andrew, just keep keep in mind Nyx is not flying anymore. Oh, what? Talon went oh, down. Oh, word? <laughs> I mean, oh, Talon word? was incapacitated, right? Yeah, so. that's true. So that's, that's a right. 21 yeah. to hit on the first punch. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, a 21 does hit the glass. Okay. Is it surround? Is there, is there like an opening? No, it, it seems to be specifically sealed off in this instance. And the second one is a natural one. Okay, cool. Um, let's have... We've rolled so bad uh, So tonight. roll the damage for the hit, the first hit. Uh-huh. Uh, Let me know what it is. Um, 1d10 plus 4 plus the spell's level. Dang. Come on, 10. 8 will do. 12 plus 4, 16 bludgeoning damage. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, cool, yeah, you... It uh, it makes this punch, and there's just like... Uh, as, it, as it shrimp punches the glass, there's this spider web of cracks that go throughout the glass here. Um, and with the natural 1, it hits, and you feel this kind of like... <laughs> And I'm just going to move it 10 feet down toward the opening, toward this drain of My sorts. elemental? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it gets okay. pulled 10 feet down. So it's not mechanic. It doesn't really mechanically matter too much for this circumstance because mm-hmm. you've done your attacks and you can always just move back into range. But with this slip, you can tell there's a bit of a current, uh, this like passive mm-hmm. current that is pulling down into the hole. Harlan, (laughs) (laughs) you're the best. Thank you. Okay, I love you. Um, That is it. I love you back. That is it for this guy's turn. Cool. At the end of your turn, I'm going to take a legendary action. Then, Um, fine. Then, fine. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to be done. (laughs) Um. Wait, but wasn't. (laughs) Didn't that turn happen like a while ago? Yes, I'm so actually this is technically after taking Kai's? this after Kai's turn. It's I was just after being after nice my turn. Yeah, okay. it's fine. It's um, fine. Everything's fine. Just for the sake of accuracy. Uh, <laughs> me. And uh, Kai and Click, I need you both to take uh, all. No saving throw, both of you. Oh boy, I rolled so high on that. I rolled two fives and a six on 3d6. Uh, both of you take 16 points of psychic damage as there's just this Bummer. pulse off of the elder brain that again looks like lightning almost, but it is this purple and blue psychic energy that does damage to you as this like charge comes off of the, el- off of the uh, brain golem. Concentration uh, check. Go for it. Uh, with oh, 16 nice. oh, oh I have advantage I have advantage I have advantage just from foresight Two. success I rolled a uh, 1 on the first one but Good I have Lord. resistance to psychic damage so I take you only half. take 8 no. huge 
Um, that is going to bring up um, a off-screen mind flayer who is going to float through the fire, through the flames, and, and flames, uh, and land right there. Makes Look at Talon. Trick. Dexterity. Oh yeah. Actually, it doesn't matter because this thing can only dispense ten more, and it's ten on a fail. So, okay. it's like, uh, ten more, and then it, uh, then it just dissipates into a, a billion tiny stars. Love it. Love it. Yeah. As it kind of like turns oh, around boy. and looks at Talon, and nods, and uh, I need Talon to roll an intelligence saving throw. As I'm, this is the fourth mind flayer stun that I have burnt Good to. Lord. Um, you can burn them. You got her with one, and you get well, to use them again, right? Uh, they recharge. They recharge. I've, I've been recharging yeah. them off screen. Yeah, she rolled a seventeen on that one. Ooh, I don't. I'm, I'm I'm dealing with a few DCs right now, so I have to double check. I'm gonna go back over here. It saves. A, a saves. Yes! So, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Alan. Holy okay. fucking shit. She's been rolling pretty well. It's just not 100% of the time. Ugh. Yeah. So she, so yeah, she's just there. tanking these hits a little bit. Stun one, like, broke free, and it's just, like, kind of, like, floating there, sweating, um, but still has, like, you know, still has her, she, like, wiggles her mechanical hand. Um, that is going to bring up the elder brain. Yeah. We didn't forget about Laloon and Co, right? And Nyx? I thought Nyx went like right after Talon. Uh Laloon Not quite. It, it, Nyx is no. an eleven on the initiative order. Talon's a sixteen. Um I'm Nyx got bumped by a couple of stuff that just moved onto the order. Ah, okay. Yeah, Laloon is a yeah. ten. Yeah, there, there are things that are like popping up on the initiative order yeah. that is like okay. separating people and changing them. Laloon okay. is a 10, so we have not moved her. Breeze Traveler is 11, no. so we haven't missed him either. Um, One's Oliphant, Oliphant Teculus is like a seven. Never mind. After that, yeah. Get your guard. So it is the Elder Brain's, tur- Elder Brain's turn. And with that, we're going to call it for the evening. No! Oh, what oh a bad God. job I've done. Oh, God. Well, Talon's just fully dead, so you can't... uh... (laughs) Not yet. (laughs) Yeah. We've said that about the Breeze Traveler. We've said that about Piss Cricket. So we've said that about Flute every single time. literally trapped on an island now. Like, Nyx cannot move. Actually, can we we talk about what happened there? Because that that kind of happened in the shuffle, and I missed it. But she... Can, she knows that Talon got hit because yeah, her she f- suddenly fly turns falls off onto uh, oh boy. this platform that she's Ooh, yeah, half that's over. Intense. I was gonna say barely over, but uh, now she's just stuck there. Fuck. And uh, yeah, I mean, Nix can't jump twenty. Nix is like, wearing heavy feet. plate armor and is not an athlete. I kind of yeah, pictured her as an athlete, but I'll tell you, there. stats wise, she is not. <laughs> She is not an athlete. Yeah. Rude. Cool. All right. Well, um, boy, we're in it now. We are in the Cycropolis now. That no more dash is <sighs> now. Oh, now we are. Wow. After eight sessions, we're finally <laughs> in the we Cycropolis. We can play longer. We can play longer. No one has anything to do. Uh, <sighs> oh my god. Okay. Well. Um, See y'all next week. We'll be holding our breath. Yeah, this was the eighth session in the Cycropolis. You guys will be here, right? 16 hours in this thing. Good Lord. Uh, Or so, give or take. But it is our, I don't know, we've we've been fighting just the the peewees. Just the the B team. I'm scared. The CIA should run people through this encounter as a form of (laughs) fucking torture. Uh... That's like like, the nicest thing you've said to me so far. That can't be true. No, it's not. Uh, I I propose that we we've got a a very healthy audience tonight. I propose that we raid it on over to Deer D E E R E, who is playing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Seems fun. Deer is a really cool uh, drag streamer who does horror games and stuff. 
Very so cool. stick around, say hello, tell tell them where you came from. Dum dums and drags. Thanks for, son. for watching us play tonight. We'll see you next week. Hopefully, oh. if we all make it till then. We love you. <gasps> we kiss you gently upon the nose. But, all right. Have fun, y'all. Later. Hell yeah. Stop. I have an idea for a touch. Yes, yeah, I. Yeah, same. And the wind rider flew to him teaser. They're better than heroes.